stuff. Especially in the beginning there, you were had a groove going, mm -hmm. and then you'd play around, and you weren't particularly worried about coming right back on the one. The beat is still implied. Yeah, you know, um, basically, you when I solo, I um, I like to get away from the one sometimes, and you know, explore different different avenues and come back to the one. Um, but basically, I, I play the blues on the bass. Uh, when I solo, I'm playing blues, um, blues changes, you know. This is one of my favorite licks. And, uh, you know, I have 90 million ways to play that one lick. Yeah, it's and, useful. Uh, you know, bending string. Right. Bending string. Yeah, so um, that's part of the Byron Miller sound, you know, um, playing simple stuff. And I found that, you know, it's not how much you play, it's how you play it and how you place it. And when you play the blues, less is, less is best. So um, that's how I play the bass. And that had, that reeked with attitude, that was cool, it was laid back. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what it is, it's attitude. You know, it's attitude more than chops or more than, you know, musical knowledge because I'm self-taught. And um, it's a feeling, you know. It's, it's a feeling from the street. On, on your album, Get With Me, there's a, uh, a tune, Dinner with Gershwin, mm -hmm. where um, it actually sounds like two bass, two basses in harmony. Starts At the beginning, with, correct. And then that's vehicle for your solo in there. Right, right. That's a Brenda Russell song that um, she wrote for Donna Summers. And I love the song and the concept of playing the melody with the saxophone really worked in that particular yeah. song. Yeah. You know, that with a sax yeah. really, really fit. And then play a little blues line at the beginning. Yeah. In the, the the idea of uh, bass and harmony, and that's it features the bass. It's an idea you wouldn't think of. It's right. Um, unique. When I played that line, I just said it. It sounded naked out there by itself. So I went back in and and put two lines together, and it, it came out nice. It came out funky. Yeah. And um, so when I play it live, I play one line, and then my guitar player plays the other line. I'm still trying to play both lines together. I have to practice more to do that. <laughs> yeah. So you're talking about, uh, you know, like playing those blues lines. You uh, listen to other, you know, soloists like sax. You're talking about saxophone and guitar. Do you think? I listen to B.B. King, blues players, uh, Jimi Hendrix. Um, um, I listen. I listen to a lot of different players and instruments. I, I, I listen a lot to George Duke, who basically, when he plays, he plays the blues. Um, um, you know, Stanley, I listen, to, I listen to everybody. I'm a, my musical collection is incredible because I listen to everybody. And um, I don't limit myself to one thing and I'm not too shy to play somebody else's lick my way. <laughs> yeah. You know, so um, it's, you know, just everybody helps me musically. Yeah. 